Good morning. This is Pastor Marvin Osborne with First Baptist Church of Birmingham, Ohio. Today we want to talk about maybe what is really endemic in, um, in the American society today, and that's certainly that of covetousness. Always wanting something that's bigger and better, so to speak, and, and shinier and uh, something that uh, is new. Something that's new. And we'll get rid of what really works just fine because it uh because there's something newer and better out there and you know it's a it's a sin of covetousness we'll put ourselves into debt um to to get something that we really don't need and i like the passage here today in proverbs 16 8 it says better is a little with righteousness than great revenue without right uh, great, uh, better is a little with righteousness. It doesn't matter how much money you have in the bank. What really matters is how much Christ you have in your life, how much he has of you, how much he affects your, your lifestyle. Righteousness is right living. There's a moral integrity. There is a, uh, a way of being able to sleep at night because you didn't defraud somebody you didn't stab it somebody in the back to get ahead in, in in the office you you are walking your talk and and allowing god to live through you he says there's better you're better off living in a a maybe in a smaller home wearing more dated clothes and being able to sleep at night knowing that you've not defrauded anybody you've not hurt anybody than someone who has a great big mansion, who drives the best cars, who has money in the bank, but has no right, it says, no righteous life. There's no righteousness in him. And he, he's not worried about anybody else. He's worried about himself. He'll, he'll defraud you in order to gain what, uh, what he wants. And we saw this in a lot of the, the, the pyramid, the investment pyramid schemes where Madoff and others who uh, took from people, even the people that they loved, supposedly loved and cared for, and took their life savings and and squandered it on, you know, greater and bigger possessions. Um, you know, uh, you know, instead of investing the money as as they said they would, a big pyramid scheme, and you know, and the story there is that you know one son in, ends up committing suicide and the other. Uh, dies of cancer. His wife divorces him, and uh, everything he had is, is sold. His wife ends up living with his, uh, with his, with a family member, and uh, and Madoff is imprisoned. You know, it's um, something to be said about living right. You're not having to look over your shoulder. You're not having to remember whether this is the guy I defrauded. You and I have a, an opportunity as believers to stand out in this world we don't have to in spite of what the name it claim it blab it grab it pro, uh, pro, um, prosperity preachers tell us um, that is not a sign of god's blessing yes if you're a believer and you're walking with christ and you're doing things and god has blessed you in that way praise the lord but the same is true that those who may not, those who are walking with the Lord and those who are serving the Lord who have very little are still blessed are still blessed and he says it's better it's better you're better off life is better you have less stress you have less less worries if you have a little with integrity than having a lot and having to look over your shoulders let's be content let's stop accumulating yet that we don't need let's look to uh being satisfied with what god has provided you now again i'm not saying it's wrong um you want to add an extension to your home and you can afford it go for it nothing wrong with that you're able to afford a, a lavish vacation that's fine praise the lord but to put yourself in a position where you think that those things are going to bring you happiness and you, you'll do anything in order to accumulate those things, that's where the trouble comes in, doesn't it? And if you can't afford what you've borrowed, as we've said before, that's where we, we get into trouble as well.
So let's stay within our means. Let's thank God for what he's given us. Let's look around today. Look at your house and or your apartment. Um, you know, if you drive a car, God, thank you for this car. God, thank you for the tires on this car. Thank you for the roof I have over my head. Thank you for the food you put on my on my table. Thank you for the health that you've given my children. Thank you for saving me. Thank you for, and you go through this day and all of a sudden those other things really don't matter, do they? They really don't. Because God, God has already provided for us. Let's be thankful for what he has already given us. Amen. Remember that God loves you and I love you as well. And I'll talk to you soon.